hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more today we have a continuation session on epidemiology of dental caries so far we have covered epidemiology of dental caries that was part one then that and uh, epidemiological studies that was part two and this is sugar substitutes so it will be uh, in continuation of dental caries so let's see uh, about uh, the sugar or sucrose which is known as arch criminal so we have discussed in detail about uh, the sucrose and its role in dental caries how dental caries is starting by action of bacteria those are mutant streptococci lactobacilli and acnomyces on sucrose and acid production acid production then demineralization and ultimately it leads to a cavity so frequent consumption of fermentable carbohydrate which has a etiological role in dental caries so let's see what are the sugar substitutes these are artificial sweetness which are added to food to provide sweetness without providing any extra calories so basically two types nutritive and non-nutritive so this is a classification caloric and non-caloric non-caloric we have saccharine aspartame sucralose neotame cyclamate and caloric this classification is the polyalcohols hydrogenated starch hydrolysate coupling sugars in polyalcohols we have xylitol xorbitol very common actylol then hydrogenated starch hydrolysate uh, we have lycasin and palatinate so coupling sugar we have sorbose and palatinose the names are very confusing so there are so many names so commonly we see in the xylitol xorbitol this aspartame saccharin sucralose so just remember this classification so another classification based on its origin natural and artificial natural hormonaline licorice and miraculine so basically any product should have uh, sweetness with no unpleasant taste without any calories and it should not be carcinogenic or mutagenic it should be economical and it should not be degraded by heat when cooked so this is commonly we seen in our clinical hours that is how to calculate sweet score so sweet score calculated by frequency into score so liquid solid slowly dissolving has 5 10 and 15 scores each which should be multiplied by the frequency of uh, sugar consumption that is per day sorry so how many times a person consumes a sucrose or sugar items multiply with this scores and we get the ultimate score which can be interpreted as if it is less than 5 as excellent if it is 10 it is good 15 or more the patient should be pushed put into a uh, watch out zone so this pyramid we have already seen so as we go higher this is sweets and the consumption should be reduced so this should be the maximum consumption which has more of uh, vitamins and nutrients with vegetables nuts and seeds vegetables dairy and eggs so as we go at the tip it should be limited consumption and at the bottom maximum consumption so as you go upward it has more proteins here it is more carbohydrates vegetable vitamins here it is proteins fatty acids so it is based on the amount a person should consume and sunlight water and exercise so it is a food pyramid so health benefits of artificial sweetness are which can be used for weight loss because it has no calorie dental care there is no direct link between artificial uh, sweeteners and dental caries and diabetes mellitus less chances because it is non-caloric and a low cost so the first one is saccharin which was discovered by ramson and falberg in 1879 which is very oldest one which has 200 to 700 times sweeter than sucrose which is available in liquid and tablet benefits which is calorie free and pharmacologically inert and is stable under moist conditions and it is also heat stable so it is commonly seen as a brand name under brand name sweet and low and sweet and low and sugar twin benefits we already discussed uh, sorry 
the dental aspect if it is 0.5% is used it can significantly reduces the both fissure and smooth surface caries so second one is aspartame it is almost 200 times sweet as sucrose and it is a combination of aspartic acid and phenyl alanine so caloric value is 4 calorie per gram and it is under brand name nutra sweet equal so which has a toxic effect both acute and chronic like dry mouth dizziness nausea vomiting and chronic usage might cause lymphomas and liver dysfunction SSL5K is 200 times sweeter than sucrose. It was first approved by FDA in 1988, which is commonly seen in yogurt and refrigerated desserts and syrups. It is under brand name Sunnet and Sweet One. So it is calorie free and it has excellent shelf life and used in candies and canned food, which is no evidence of carcinogenicity or cytotoxicity. But headache is a disadvantage. Sucralose was discovered in 1976. It is non-nutritive and non-caloric. It is 600 times sweeter than sucrose, which is sold under the trade name Splenda. It is seen in tea, coffee, carbonated and non-carbonated beverages. So advantages as same as non-cariogenic and zero nutritive value. Diary and dizziness and stomach pain are the disadvantages. So polyalcohols are commonly seen uh, in sorbitol and under the name xylitol. Sorbitol we know we have seen the uh, chewing gum uh, orbit which has a sorbitol which is commonly seen in cherries, plums, pears and apples which is prepared from glucose by high pressure dehydrogenation or by electrolytic production. 1 gram gives 4 calories. So it has advantage is that only 5 to 10 percentage of this can be uh, applied it can be produced bacteria uh, for a acid production so the rest of the products is untouched by bacteria so it can be used as an alternative to sucrose because it will not cause caries or if the caries production will be very less but the disadvantage is too much sorbitol consumption might cause diarrhea because it has a laxity pro property because of the osmotic transfer of water into bubble so xylitol is another product another poly alcohol which is commonly uh, commercially obtained from beech trees which is seen in strawberries raspberries plums odds which is commonly used by diabetic patients and high dosage can, again can uh, cause diarrhea like sorbitol pim study we have seen in our second chapter that is second session diet and dental care is to sugar study was done in Finland where the most effective product was xylitol where the caries reduction was uh, highest was seen in among xylitol group so oral health benefit it is significantly reduces the caries and also it reduces cariogenic bacteria plaque level and zero stomach and gingival inflammation and erosion so it is highly stable can be used in baking promotes colon health as a prebiotic and it has a laxative effect to prevent constipation platelets and diarrhea are the disadvantages so high fructose corn syrup is another mixture of glucose and fructose there are two types that is 42 and 55 which has 42 percent fructose and 55 percent fructose respectively so rules are it can be used in baked goods yogurt and sauces condiments and canned and frozen fruits and also in beverages but it has a, a fat opposition in liver there will be narrowing of blood vessels it triggers asthma and food allergies are also reported some natural products are available like steviocide which is found in leaves of stevia ribadiana which is calorie free non cariogenic which is 300 times sweeter than sucrose another one is miraculin which is a shrub grown in West Africa, which produces berries that have properties of causing sour substance to taste sweet. So, which is commonly used under the trade name Miralin, uh, Miracle Fruit Drops. So, another one is Licorice, which is derived from Licorice root, so which is 50 times sweet than sucrose, which is used as expectorant and also it has pharmaceutical value. Monilin, it is seen in red berries, 
which is 3000 times sweeter than sucrose so tooth friendly sweet concept started in uh, switzerland where if it is tooth friendly the product will be labeled as happy tooth so all these products are happy tooth so it will not cause much caries so that's all about uh, artificial sweetness or sugar substitutes which are not very uh, important which commonly asked as a short note or as a part of a long essay so only thing we need to classify it a little bit about its uh, ear and its uh, oral benefits or oral uh, role and sorbitol and xylitol are a little bit important because it is commonly used as anti cariogenic products and also some other products like mm, sucralose ssl5 aspartame and saccharin so that's all about um, artificial sweetness i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you